Hello guys, in this quick video I'm going to show you how to recover the BIOS on a G40 Lenovo laptop if it went wrong and it's not booting up anymore. First you need to go on Lenovo's website and download the BIOS pack like I already did. I'm not going to show that uh, in detail because it will depend a lot on your uh, particular model so I don't want somebody downloading the wrong pack because I'm showing that. So you need to know yourself how to download it. Simply go to the drivers page, uh, select your uh, particular model, select uh, your operating system. If your uh, newer operating system is not supported, select an older one and then from the list uh, download the BIOS. That simple. It will come as an archive like I have it in, uh, in here for me for example. If you have uh, WinRAR installed you simply right click on it and extract it like I'm doing here and from the extracted files you search for about the biggest one. In my case this is it. It has about 10 megs and this is the BIOS itself. Uh, it seems that in the case of this laptop it has the FD extension. Now what you want to do, you need a USB stick that is uh, FAT32. So it doesn't uh, allow NTFS or any other file uh, system use FAT32. Okay. And on this thing, you simply copy paste this file as is. I have already copied uh, that file on mine. It's right here. Then do another copy of it and put the extension bin. And for my particular laptop, searching on forums, it seems that it likes to have this exact name for it to actually uh, reflash it by itself in recovery mode. Yeah, I know, it's weird, but if you do try and search for your exact model on forums, what the name of this file should be, you will most likely find it. Again, I'm not going to put it for uh, every single model out, out there because I don't want somebody messing something up. So this is for my laptop, do not use the exact same name unless you have a Lenovo G30, uh, G40-70 or a Lenovo G50-70. These two are exactly uh, the same thing. So yeah. Uh, and you can have many of many copies of the same file with different names if you are not 100% sure because it will uh, actually write the one that uh, it agrees to. The one that it expects. And being the same thing but with different names for you it doesn't really matter which of them it will write. And uh, yeah, then you simply uh, shut down your laptop, remove the battery from it and then uh, just plug in the charger and when booting up there are a few key combinations. Windows B, Windows R or Function B or Function R. So you press that key combination after this is plugged in, battery still out, don't put the battery back in. You press the particular key combination and then the power button. And it will start and while you will see the, uh, this uh, USB drive flickering, hopefully yours all, also has a LED on it. And it will start beeping while it's writing the BIOS. Don't touch it about 10 minutes. It will do its reset, whatever, and it will start up by itself after it uh, finishes. So do not interrupt it. Do not, shut, uh, do not shut it down while it's beeping and writing. So, uh, yeah, let's do that now. Just wanted to add something. You can also use this trick to write the BIOS if your BIOS updater refuses to update it because you have a bad battery for example. In my case the battery from this particular system is gone and I always get this error that it needs to be at least 30% charged. 
but it's always 0% because it's bad, it's damaged. So my only way to update the BIOS was to trick it into the BIOS recovery mode and it worked. So on some laptops it's Windows B, Windows R, Function B, Function R and on mine obviously it's uh, Function R because why not. So Function R, hold it, plug it in, power button and see what we get. It is reading from the USB drive, but that was about it. And nothing. Well, something did happen, but I have no clue what, because I was out of the room, the really loud beeping was annoying. I think actually it wrote the BIOS, because we are on, uh, it's trying to boot from UEFI. So that means uh, it put another BIOS on this thing. Daisy forgot that on this thing you need to boot in another way to enter the BIOS. We have the special BIOS switch. Let's go to BIOS setup. This doesn't seem to be Oh, it is actually changed. Hmm. Yep, this thing actually got uh, updated. So, yeah, that's about it, guys, for this video. Hopefully it uh, helps you. In which case, please give it a like. Check out my other videos. And, uh, as always, see you in the next one. Bye.